I really must stop saying sorry. It doesn't make things any better or worse. If only I had it in me to be all fierce, fearless and forthright, instead of forever sprinkling my discourse with pitiful attractions, apologies and prevarications. It's one of the reasons I could never have been an artist, either of a literary or any other kind. All the true artists I know are uninterested in the opinion of the world and wholly unconcerned with self-explanation. Self-revelation, yes, and often, but never self-explanation. Artists are strong, bloody-minded, difficult and dangerous. Faith or laziness or cowardice cast me long ago in the role of entertainer. And that is what I found myself throughout my twenties becoming, though at times a fatally over-earnest, over-appeasing one, which is no kind of entertainer at all, of course. Wanting to be liked is often a very unlikable characteristic. Certainly, I don't like it in myself. But then, there is a lot in myself that I don't like. Twelve years ago, I wrote a memoir of my childhood and adolescence called Moab is My Washpot, a title that confused no one so clear, direct and obvious was its meaning and reference. Or perhaps not. The chronology took me up to the time I emerged from prison and managed somehow to get myself accepted into university, which is where this book takes up the story. For the sake of those who have read Moab, I don't mean to go over the same ground. This book picks up the threads and charts the next eight years of my life. Why so many pages for so few years? It was a late adolescence and early manhood crowded with incident, that is one answer. Another is that in every particular I fail Strunk's Elements of Style or any other manual of good writing. If a thing can be said in ten words, I may be relied upon to take a hundred to say. I ought to apologize for that. I ought to go back and ruthlessly prune, pare and extirpate excess growth. But I will not. I like words. Strike that. I love words. And while I am fond of the condensed and economical use of them in poetry, in song lyrics, in Twitter, in good journalism and smart advertising, I love the luxuriant profusion and mad scatter of them too. I really must stop saying sorry. <laughs>